hello friends welcome back to our channel my name is esther and this is qs fashion hub thank you for stopping by if you're new here you are welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you are the best so today i'm going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful bag on the thumbnail with stone okay i also added stone to this bag if this sounds like what you're interested in let's go into it so guys what you're going to be needing is an Ankara fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice. I decided to use an Ankara fabric in this tutorial. The measurement I have here is 17 inches on fold by 19 inches. Okay. If you open it up, you're going to be having 34 inches length and 19 inches width. I hope that is clear so if you want your bag to be bigger than this you can use 40 inches by 19 inches hope that is clear 40 inches um length and 19 inches width your bag is going to be bigger than mine if you use that measurement okay now the first thing you're going to do is to add interface to your fabric okay so the essence of adding this interface is to give this fabric a little bit of structure because we are working with an Ankara fabric okay but if you are working with a thick fabric you don't really need an interface you can skip this part okay now the next thing you're going to do is to iron your interface to it and then fold your fabric into two like you can see me do on the screen and then you're going to fold it again into four now at this point i was trying to trim out the excess on top because i noticed that part wasn't straight okay so i'm just trimming that part off now you're going to fold it again into two so you fold it into two first and then you're folding into four so after folding you're going to place your tape rule on it and measure four inches okay so you're going to be measuring um the the length of four inches and then the width of two inches okay four inches length and two inches width and then just go ahead and, and mark it out and use your ruler to connect the points together so once you're done connecting your points just grab your ruler like this and then create a curve at that point as if you're trying to create a round neckline but if you don't have your ruler you can use your free hand to create that curve at that point then go ahead and cut it out once you're done cutting you're going to be having something looking like this at this point i'm going to be using a lining for this um, bag because i have a i have an interface on it already so i wouldn't want my bag to look like this when i turn it out i wouldn't want the interface to be showing so i cut exactly the same measurement with my lining the lining is a little bit bigger than the um main fabric the essence is that um, so that when you are done sewing, you won't have any shortage. So, you won't have any shortage. So, you just place it on top and stitch all the way around and then trim off the excess that is in it. Okay. So, at this point, I was, I was done um, sewing the linings together and then i trim out the ss so at that point that looks like a neckline that looks like a neckline i'm going to be piping it up with this piece okay and the piece is measuring two inches by the time i iron half inch on both sides and then it's i was left with um, one inch i was left with half an inch i beg your pardon but i decided to change my mind later i used a bias instead of um that piece okay so i wanted that place to be different from the main fabric so that it can look more attractive like 
I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So at this point, you're going to fold your piece into two right side. The right side should be facing you, and then you're going to stitch on both side. I don't I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. You're going to be stitching on the right side, not the wrong side. So at this point, I was done stitching on the right side, and I'm trying to reduce the allowance I have, okay? Because we are still going to turn this bag to the wrong side so i'm trying to reduce the allowance we have okay so once you're done reducing the allowance you're just going to go ahead and then flip the bag to the wrong side can you see how neat the wrong side is because i used a line okay but if you're not using an interface you can decide to skip the lining part okay Please, please like this video and give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So at this point, I was done turning it inside out. You can go ahead and iron it first. Give it a very good press before you continue. So I'm going to be marking two inches like you can see me do. I'm going to be marking two inches all the way around. Two inches all the way around, okay? So that is what I'm doing basically, marking two inches on the first part and then I'm repeating the same thing to the second part, okay? So these two inches is going to help us to create our drawstring um, case where we are going to be um, inserting our handle and then where we are going to also be creating our drawstring. So moving to the lower part of this, bag you're going to also mark two inches at the lower part like you can see me do just mark two inches across like this so once you're done marking you're just going to go ahead and fold it like this can you see what i'm doing fold it like this and then use your pins to secure it in place okay fold it like you can see me do and then use your pins to secure it okay so guys please don't forget to subscribe to this channel show some love and drop a beautiful comment thank you so once you're done we're going to be setting that part aside for now and then we're going to be working on the handle so the handle is measuring three inches three inches okay now if you you will iron half an inch your both side I iron the second part half an inch and then fold it into two and iron it so the measurement is 30 inches by one inch okay so the measurement is 30 inches by three inches but by the time you're done ironing it you're going to be left with one inch okay can you see so at this point i went ahead to stitch on both sides of the hand okay so now and i also ironed the two inches that i marked earlier can you see so i ironed half an inch in first and then i ironed 1.5 inch okay fold half an inch iron it first and then fold the remaining 1.5 inch and iron it in place can you see now we're going to be fixing our hand i later reduced my handle to 29 inches or you can even use 28 okay make sure you reduce yours to 28 inches or 29 so you're going to um leave half an inch like you can see me do and then pin your hand the first half an inch you ironed you're going to leave it can you see you can mark half an inch and then before you start pinning your hand i don't know if you understand can you see so that is the half an inch before i started pinning my hand in place okay so you're repeating the same thing leave half an inch and then 
make sure both of them are in the same position okay go ahead and pin them in place remember you are pinning at the at the wrong side of the fabric okay then repeat the same thing to the second part leave half an inch and then pin your handle in place remember i said you can reduce your handle from 30 inches to 28 inches okay between 28 or 29 so you're just going to go ahead and stitch on it by half an inch like you can see me illustrating on the screen so at this point i was done stitching on it can you see what i have okay the next thing you're going to do is to arrange the handle in place and then flip your um your casing like this okay remember the two inches we folded earlier now it is time for you to use it okay now you're going to flip it and then stitch on it so at this point i was done flipping it over and then i went ahead to stitch on it and then i'm turning the bag inside out once i was done turning it inside out you can go ahead and iron it in place ironing the very well sprinkle your water if you don't have a steam iron and iron it properly okay once you're done doing that just go ahead can you see the lower part automatically is giving us a base already for the bag so once you're done doing that go ahead and pull your handle like this you're going to be creating the drawstring effect by pulling the handles together okay so at this point i was done pulling go ahead and iron it and add your stones okay so i went ahead to add my stones so at this point i was done adding my stones and this is the final look of the bag okay guys so if this tutorial is helpful to you please subscribe help and drop a beautiful comment don't forget to like this video and share with your loved one my name is esther and this is qs fashion up don't stop learning keep learning and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.